Should members of the clergy be required to report child abuse if they hear it in a confessional? Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Darren Perrin. That's a question raised in a new bill introduced in Vermont's legislature. Channel 3 political reporter Calvin Cutler is live at the Roman Catholic Diocese of Burlington. Calvin, what would this bill do? Well, good evening, Darren and Kat. Essentially, uh, lawmakers are faced with balancing protecting kids and the First Amendment. Now, many states have some type of law protecting members of the clergy uh, from disclosing information uh, told to them during confessions. But a new bill in Montpelier would roll back that protection if priests learn about child abuse. In the Catholic faith, parishioners can seek mercy and forgiveness for their sins by confessing, a form of spiritual healing. In most cases, the interactions between priests and their congregation are confidential. But, uh, as we just to kind of use the monopoly phrase, it's not a get out of jail free card. But what if the parishioner confesses to child abuse? A new proposal in Vermont's legislature would remove an exemption from the state's abuse reporting laws for members of the clergy. Child abuse is one of the most egregious offenses uh, next to uh, rape and murder uh, that uh, the government uh, is entrusted to stop, protect, prosecute those responsible. Vermont Senate lawmakers Friday puzzling over how to balance protecting kids and respecting religious liberty. The state acts on over 5,000 instances of child abuse or neglect annually. It's not clear how many this law would add. Vermont's top Catholic leader is opposed to the measure. Bishop Christopher Coyne says having to confess the sacrament of confession would violate religious liberties protected under the First Amendment. And not just the rights of myself and the clergy, but the rights of all of the Catholics in the state of Vermont and the rights of any other faith community that has that kind of a privileged penitential communication. Religious scholars also told lawmakers Friday that the seal of confidentiality during confession is sacred, and breaking that seal of trust could result in priests being excommunicated and never being able to practice again. Constitutional scholars say the proposal as written would likely pass constitutional muster. Religious exemptions are a matter of legislative grace not constitutional command. But members of the clergy say the bill would make them choose between civil and canon law. Lawmakers are already faced with a balance, the sanctity of religious confidentiality and protecting kids from abuse. I struggle with a bill like this, how we would um, keep faith with both your sacrament and that child. And to complicate the matter, Bishop Coyne said, confessionals are normally done anonymously. The priest rarely knows who in the congregation is confessing. Now, Vermont is one of over 30 states that uh, exempt members of the clergy from having to report abuse. Reporting live in South Burlington, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.